Well, you wouldn't have to focus on it, you I am. <laughs> but we will offer the last week to come on and initiate the celebrations for Kim. It's her birthday. One of the reasons that I've been asked to come tonight is that quite a few years ago I had done a production of the Night of Figaro, which this gorgeous woman uh, appeared as the Countess. Um, yeah. um, it was an extraordinary debut. We worked for some months to prepare her with her wonderful voice teacher, Vera Rocha who at last can't be here tonight. But we remember Vera as being one of the great voice teachers and what she taught Kiri uh, is unbelievably wonderful and she's now passing it on to us. I just want to say one thing. Kiri, you're very lucky to have this as a birthday present, this amazing cast. <laughs> I mean, every single person on this stage was brilliant tonight. The chorus master, Renato, wonderful chorus master. And I'm going to say something very, very selfishly. <clears throat> There's one person on the stage tonight who has appeared in every single performance of My Love O.M. here, which is in its 40th year. And Jean-Pierre Blanchard was the notary brilliant tonight. Where are you? <laughs> There's a huge thing about Kiri's foundation. She has put the most enormous amount of energy, time and money into this foundation for young singers. Um, all over the world, but particularly here in London, I know there's a great dollop coming here to the Royal Opera House, which is wonderful, at the Royal Academy of Music and Royal College of Music where I'm teaching all the time. They are wonderfully supported by Kiri. And they asked me, Kiri, to thank you tonight um, for all your input and all your encouragement. So this is the thank you. I've got one little story that I hope uh, I, I hope I can tell. We were doing the Maharaja Figaro in San Francisco. Uh, Kiri was singing Countess. And the day after we started rehearsals, her tennis coach appeared on the scene. He was very, very important, and she was preparing for, I think, um, Wimbledon, or wherever it was, <laughs> down there. And he was so insistent that he had some time with her, so we rearranged things a little bit so that she could have her tennis lessons, and we got the production on. We got to the dress rehearsal in the San Francisco Opera House, packed house like it is here tonight and we started at two and Kiri sang Pour Ti Amor most beautifully, you can't imagine it being done more beautifully and at the end of the aria the house went crazy I mean there was so much applause we thought the show couldn't go on on came Susanna and Figaro to the next scene with tennis rackets and tennis <laughs> They did the whole of the rest of playing tennis across the country. <laughs> and when it got to one of her lines, she said, You're supposed to be doing my hair. <laughs> and the very famous figure said, Sorry, Kiri, it's our tennis lesson now. <laughs> she was so fantastically good humoured, she got quite hysterical. So much fun we had that day. A bit later on in the scene, she went upstage to unlock the door for the Count to come in. I mean, he went back to and she rushed up to the door and she turned the key. She turned the key. <laughs> she looked back, looking to see where I was in the auditorium. She said, John, the bloody door's locked! <laughs> That is one of my happiest memories. <laughs> Anyhow, there are so many famous and very, very important people about to make um, 
their entrance or whatever, say, I'm going to shut up and get it. I don't know how it works. Does something fly in? Or... <laughs> I've never spoken on this stage, it's very scary. <laughs> <laughs> He suggested that you come forward and look because there's lots and lots of room down here. What a joy, what a privilege, clearly, to be sending you greetings on your birthday, and your 70th birthday to boot. I don't believe it, but I'm told it is true. You have come a long way since those early days with Camden, and even the marriage of Figaro at Covent Garden. <coughs> and your career has been wonderfully successful, and you've given so much pleasure to so many people all of whom join with me now in sending you your happy birthday, Kerry, and have many, many more. Enjoy your day and make it a happy one. Maria Kiri, I wish you a wonderful birthday. Finally, you became an adult. <laughs> I have to tell you that it has been always a real privilege, a tremendous pleasure to share the stage with you. Yours is one of the most beautiful and amazing voices I ever heard. As we know, there is nothing like a day. <laughs> Danielle Denise, I'm here in New York at the moment for my performance of Enchanted Island here at the Metropolitan Opera, and I'm terribly sorry not to be with you in London as you celebrate your birthday, and I wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. We are all so privileged to know you and to have watched you work, and personally having studied with you and having watched you in action, I am truly, truly privileged to know you. I can say without a doubt that after knowing you, I idolize you even more. Uh, and I'm only sorry that I can't be there with you, but I send you all my love and love from everybody here in New York. We all miss you and look forward to your return. And be well and have a wonderful celebration today. so much so 
much to be there with you, the Royal Opera House, which we have a very beautiful, beautiful souvenir singing together, especially our unforgettable Manolo Sco. But I just want to tell you, I just want to lead you into the new decade that <laughs> you are approaching now. In two days, I have, you know, I have been already three years there. <laughs> It's a wonderful one, I can guarantee, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's so beautiful, the kind of light that we do. We are lucky, yes. And of course, the public is lucky. You are there singing in Cote de Garden, and uh, all your public celebrating with you such an extraordinary event. So, who's counting? Let's just continue, let's see, let's enjoy it, and I love you, and happy birthday! I'm so pleased that 
I was able to just do five minutes of it this at your age, this is what they do now. <laughs> I don't think there are any more parts that, that, that can take five minutes in the show, but it's been fun, I've loved it, and to come back to Covent Garden, giving the tributes from the very, very special people that I've been involved with, and John Copley in particular, thank you. And I thank you all so much, and keep up the spirit and the love of classical music. My students from the foundation are really working hard. I kick ass a lot. <laughs> and, that, and they deserve it because that's what I happen to happen to me. They kicked my ass a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good night.